The Workspace Manager is a new addition to the DX docking control for WPF and Silverlight. In this video, we'll take a look at how to implement it in a sample WPF application. Please note that the steps are nearly identical for both platforms. I'll start with a WPF application project that has a DX docking layout along with some toolbars already created for it. Let's switch over to the XAML editor. To enable the Workspace Manager, you can see that the XPF core assembly is referenced and the Workspace Manager is enabled property is set to true. So that bar manager, which contains all the other controls in this application, will participate whenever a workspace is loaded and applied. To do this at runtime, I'll need some method of invoking the different workspaces. You can see that I've integrated this as bar items. Each of these items has an item click property. When I switch to the code video, you'll see that each one loads a specific predefined layout file for the application. So now, I need to create a member that implements the iWorkspace Manager interface. In the initializer class, I'll set manager equal to the workspace manager that is enabled on the bar manager. I'll also specify a ripple transition effect. Now I need to make sure that each workspace is loaded and applied whenever any of these items are clicked. I'll use the load workspace method to load the XML file from the resource stream and assign it a unique name within the workspace manager. The apply workspace method then uses that unique name to apply the workspace layout. I'll copy this code and add it to the other two event handlers, modifying the names accordingly. The XML files that you see here are sample layout definitions that I've already copied to the project folder and set as embedded resources. So let's go ahead and run the application to see the result. Here's the application with the docking layout created. I click on one of the workspace buttons and the layout is changed using the specified ripple effect as the transition. Let's quickly go back and change this effect to wave. Again, upon clicking the button, the new transition effect is used. I can also disable this if I don't want any animated transition effects at runtime. Finally, please note that this demo simply covered how to load existing XML layout files. The Workspace Manager also allows you to capture new layouts, keep them in memory, as well as save them to new XML files which can be reloaded at a later time. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.